Peggy's Cove has endured 200 years of foul weather. However, we're here on a beautiful day and we all know that tens of thousands of people come to Peggy's Cove to photograph this wonderful lighthouse out on Peggy's Point. However, there are a number of other things you can do in Peggy's Cove, like a world-class hike out in the coastal barrens. You can cook your own lobster right here in town and believe it or not, you can actually take a boat tour to see puffins. And if you don't believe me, check this stuff out. We're here with Captain Peter, and Peter's gonna actually take us out to see puffins. Um, we briefly spoke over the phone, Peter. You're not originally from Nova Scotia, are you? No, I'm a Quebec, born and raised in Sherbrooke, Quebec. Oh, nice. So what brought you here to Nova Scotia, and why settle in Peggy's Cove and start an operation here? I was running boat tours out of Lunenburg, and uh, I had a chance to come to Peggy's Cove, so we moved up here. Excellent. Captain Peter not only offers boat tours, but he also runs the Lobster You Cook and the Breakwater Inn a three-room inn right in the heart of Peggy's Cove. Being out there with Captain Peter and his first mate Paige was quite the surreal experience. Not many people are aware that you can see puffins at Peggy's Cove, but just 11 kilometers out on Pearl Island you can see between two and three hundred of them. One of the more interesting facts about puffins is that they are a very social bird, usually found in large colonies. However, they spend 9 to 10 months floating around on the open Atlantic in solitude, far from land and humanity. Puffins are fast, very fast. In fact, they can fly up to 85 kilometers an hour and they flap their wings 400 times per minute. Luckily, we had a professional bird photographer on board with us, Jason Dane. He provided us with some excellent photos and knowledge of the birds to show their true beauty. Between the diversity of people on the boat, the wildlife, and being surrounded by such natural beauty, you couldn't ask for a better experience just minutes from one of Nova Scotia's most popular attractions. Leaving Pearl Island, we headed back towards Bayswater where Captain Peter said that there would be some seals. Little did we know that there would be between 20 and 30 of them swimming about, going under the boat and frolicking in the water. It was interesting to see the interaction between them and the people on board. It was now time to head back in and fill up on some locally caught crustaceans. You know, lobster. So we're now at the Yukuk Lobster here in Peggy's Cove, and we're gonna be joining a couple of our friends from the boat tour, who are gonna be also cooking their own lobsters right here in the cove. So, say hello to our new friends. Yukok Lobster is the first of its kind in the Maritimes. This unique experience allows you to select the lobster that you want to cook, drop it in the pot to boil, and then eat it right there. You can't get much more Nova Scotian than that. Unless you deck yourself out in lobster pants, an apron, and an authentic Southwester fishing cap. Rolls, everybody, lobster rolls, you cook lobster. So did you know, Nova Scotia exports more lobsters than anywhere in the world. It's big business here, always has been. Always will be, because we have the best lobster in the world. Born and bred Nova Scotian, never heard of congee. So, Sarah, yeah? what is congee? Congee is traditionally an Asian rice porridge. So it's a soup that the rice is made really thick. And then we decided to do a maritime spin on it with lobster. So you get lobster with ginger and green onions for flavor and a nice thick rice soup. So a real international flair here. That's right, absolutely. Oh, I love it. This is fantastic. First time for everything. Kanji. Uh, might be hot. Oh yes, it will be hot. <laughs> oh my god. That is divine. After filling up on lobster, we headed out of Peggy's Cove to the coastal barrens where there's an amazing hike to Polly's Cove. We're here now at the trailhead of the Polly's Cove Trail and we can't seem to shake our American friends. So we're gonna take them on a hike. We actually met them this morning on the boat tour. They had lobster with us and now we've asked them to join us on this hike. So we're gonna check out the coastal barrens uh, which heads right out to the ocean, has these amazing panoramic views of Peggy's Cove and some really amazing historical value as far as the indigenous population here as well. So let's check it out. The coastal barrens were formed hundreds of millions of years ago, but its most recent transformation happened during the last ice age. This massive ice sheet, which was roughly two kilometers thick, slowly moved across these granite outcrops, leaving behind very little vegetation and massive erratic boulders. 
This resulted in a stark yet stunningly beautiful landscape. Much of the Barrens has a very thin layer of soil, only a few inches thick, resulting in low-lying vegetation and stunted trees. In fact, this soil was created by the breaking down of dog lichen, which takes roughly 500 years to create one inch of fertile soil. We followed a narrow footpath which was once used by the Mi'kmaq people as a foraging and fishing route. They would gather many of the wild berries found in the area, fish the rich waters of the open Atlantic, and even hunt large mammals that once roamed here. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Check us out next time as we explore Lunenburg when we go kayaking, indulge in some local spirits and food, and go for an amazing hike here in Canada's Ocean Playground. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and share to follow along on the next adventure.